Okay, sixth grade, lesson 31. This is on areas of rectangles, okay? So up to this point, we have learned about the distance around a rectangle. Do you remember what that's called? Perimeter. Perimeter, very good. Okay, but now instead of doing what's around it, we're gonna do what's in it, okay? That's called the area inside of something, okay? So when we're talking about area, um, I want you to think of, um, let's just take one of these lines, okay, Eli, look, and you've got a line here. That measures distance. But when we enclose that and have one inch, one inch, one inch, and one inch, it encloses an area. Got it? It's not just a line, it's a whole portion inside of it. Okay, now I want you to pretend like this has a whole bunch of different squares all in it to help us find the, the area, which just gives us the square inches, the square foot, the square miles, etc. Got it? Okay, so for example, if I had something that said 12 feet on top, mm -hmm. that means from here all the way to here is 12 foot. Okay, and then I said this over here is 8 foot. So what that means is from here to here, it's eight foot. But they wanna know what's the area on the inside. The cool thing about finding area is you can use the measurements on the outside to find out what's on the inside, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I want you to watch what happens, okay? This says eight feet, so I'm gonna go on and draw eight of these just to kinda of show you something real quick. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's 12 foot. So I'm gonna do 12. So let's go half and then. Okay, that's 12 um, here. Okay? Okay. And what does that give us is a bunch of these square tiles or square pieces inside okay now I want you to watch 12 when you're finding the area of something you always do write down this length times width you probably learned that last year barely okay so let's take 12 the length times the width 12 times 8 and I'm gonna end up getting 96 so guess how many pieces are in here 96 square pieces. Okay. So I could do 8, 12, and then count every piece. Or I could just do my multiplication in my head, 12 times 8, which equals 96, which is exactly how many square tiles there are inside of that. An easier version of that, so let's do a smaller one. 4 foot times 3 foot. How many tiles are going to be on the inside? Uh, that would be 4 times 3, that's yeah. 12. Yes, very good. They're going to be 12, so watch me do this, okay? So I'm going to have 4. Whoops, I didn't quite even lay out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3. 1, 1, 2, and 3. Do you see how I did that? And how many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Get that? Yeah. Okay, so the area... If I was going to pick, buy a piece of carpet for this floor on the, in the living room, we would take a measuring tape. No, -uh. We would take a measuring tape, and we would go from one wall to the end of that wall in length, and then we'd go from this wall to the end of that wall in width. Okay. You see? And we would multiply how long this is times how wide it is, and I would go to the carpet people and say, I need 96 square foot of carpet, okay? And that tells them that it makes a square of 96 feet. Okay. You get it? Yeah. Okay, so that's area, okay? Each one of these um, squares is really a foot long. So it's really, no, I don't have a big enough spot on here, okay? But it's really a foot long on one side, a foot long on this side, a foot long on this side, a foot long on this side. But I minimized it and put it all into this one little 
See what I did? Yeah. Okay. So that is area. Did I? Do you feel like you understand it pretty good? Yep. Okay. Now, let's do something else. One last thing on this lesson. Sometimes they're going to try to um, trick you and say something like this. The area of this square, the area equals 100 square feet or feet squared. Sometimes you see it like that, okay? Square feet or feet squared it means the same thing, okay? So if they tell me that the area is 100 square foot, that's the answer. So what does this side and this side have to be in order to get 100 as the answer? Uh -huh. It would... Now remember, this is a square, so all the sides are the same. So you'd have to multiply 5 times 5, or 7 times 7, or 10 times 10. What's going to give us 100? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's try 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Not, not there yet. 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100. Uh, so, this is 10 feet, and this is 10 feet. So, if I made those lines and these lines, it would end up having 100 square feet inside the middle of it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. But then they say, what is the area of each side? The area of each side is what? 10. 10 feet each side. I probably shouldn't put area right there because the area is 100. Now it says this. What is the perimeter? Perimeter is... That's 40. 40. What did you do? You took 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Remember, perimeter is the outside. Or you do 10 times. 10 times 4, right. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 40. So the perimeter is 40 feet. The area is 100 square feet, but it's 10 feet on each side. Got it? That's lesson 31.